Hey guys, so welcome to this six part tutorial on using Google Sheets for iPads. We're going to start today with number one, getting started. And we're going to head over to the App Store to download Google Sheets if you don't have it already. And once you have it downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open the app to get started. As you look through the welcome screen, you'll be able to see some of its features, like using the app without an internet connection, sharing and editing with others, automatically saving to the web, and the ability to edit Excel spreadsheets with Google Sheets. So we're gonna go down here to the sign in button and continue to the Google login. If you don't already have a Google login, you can set one up uh, for the purposes of signing in here. And once you signed in, you may have to complete a two-step verification depending on your settings. And then we are ready to get started. So we're going to use the plus button down the bottom right corner to start a new spreadsheet. You've got an option here between uh, just a blank spreadsheet and choosing one from a template. You can name your new spreadsheet and press create. Now here we are on our new spreadsheet and once we select a cell then you'll see this toolbar appear here at the top. You press the tick in the top left corner and we're back to being able to view all the sheets that are available. At the moment we just have sheet one here at the bottom but if you click the plus button down there then you can start to add more sheets and switch between them. At the top here you've got different letters of the alphabet which correspond to the different columns that are on your spreadsheet and down the side, numbers going up one, two, three for the different rows on your spreadsheet. If you select a cell, then that cell's name will correspond to the letter and the number that it lines up with uh, in that particular column or row. So for example, this one here would be B6. Now let's take a look at all the features in the toolbar at the top. So to start with here, the B for bold. Uh, if you select a cell and click that B, then that text will become bold. You've also got italics and underline and strike through here at the top as well. If you select the A, then you can choose the text color. And then these next three buttons decide on how the text is aligned in that cell, whether it's to the left in the center or to the right. The next three buttons across align the text vertically. So the first one positions the text at the bottom of the cell, the next in the middle, and the third one positions it at the top of the cell. If you've got more text in your cell, then this button makes sure that that text continues uh, in the line underneath. You've also got options to select the background color, change the border and the border style, and also add rows below, above, to the right, and to the left. These two arrows at the top allow you to uh, undo and redo any changes that you have made. And there are also more options to change the style of the text uh, with this A button next to those arrows as well. You can add things like links, comments, charts, images, and insert columns and rows. And finally, some options here, including viewing comments, finding and replace, creating a filter, um, sharing and exporting your work as well. And that's it. And once you click this uh, tick button at the top, then you can see all your sheets again at the bottom. You can go back to your home page on Google Sheets and see all the sheets that you've been working on. There are more options here um, in this menu with three dots for the spreadsheets that you have created, uh, including sending a copy or copying a link, adding a shortcut uh, and some other options there as well. And that's it for now on um, part one. Thank you for joining me for getting started on Google Sheets. And in the next part, we'll be looking at functions and formulas.